Right, so here's some uh, new drawings. If you wonder why I'm looking, why I'm looking downwards, I'm looking at the drawings as I describe them. So, um, yeah. So the first one that's going to come on the screen now, we've got um, Application Adam, and he's basically an applications designer, and he's good friends with uh, Deborah Dreamhips. Deborah Dreamhips has got bionic feet that are controlled by her iPhone, which is pretty interesting, isn't it? So she... um. She basically walks about with her iPhone and controls her bionic feet and they're, they're as good, if not better, than hands. So she can kind of hang from trees and stuff. Um, she can hang from trees with her feet. Um, and application Adam, as we can see here, he's got a Fred Perry jumper on. And if you look down to his crotch area, next to it it says uh, humal, Human Arousal bul Bulge. And that's because he's got a bit of a boner. Cause he's, he's giving a cuddle to Deborah Dreamhips. And... Um, yeah, that obviously makes him feel a bit uh, a bit human. And then to the left, you've got the coffee specialist bird, who's got a beard, and um, he's off his lips on coffee. Uh, I don't know why he's there with Deborah Dream Hips and Application Adam, but he is. You know, it's like sometimes you just don't need to question these things. All right, so I put the microphone down a second to get the next drawing out. All right, now coming on the screen now, we will see this drawing. You've got the tiara kittens. I love drawing cats, and they're basically cats with ti tiaras, little uh, princess cats. And you've got next to them, to the right of them, you've got the straight twins. Now, they're not straight in a sexuality way. They're literally drawn straight with a straight line, and they've got really round heads. So they're the straight twins. And then below the tiara kittens, you've got uh, Smug Sebastian in his vintage puma cap. It's a very nice vintage puma cap, uh, stripy, yellow and blue, slightly faded because it's vintage. And um, uh, Smug Sebastian is a big fan of vintage uh, sportswear, and he's got lots of, um, how should I put it, sn snobbery, snobberies about, about his love for, his passion for vintage sportswear. He's got a, a lot of knowledge. And then to the, to the right of him, you've got Council Craig. Now, Council Craig is very different to Smug Sebastian, because Smug Sebastian basically works in the fashion, in the clothing industry, and his job is to basically sit about and look at nice vintage clothes and uh, sell nice vintage clothes and look cool and then go to the cafe for a coffee. Whereas Council Craig, he has to decide the different numbers of different ethnicities that work for the council. So... If there's one too many Asians, he'll say, now we need a black person. Or if there's too many black people, he'll say, now we need a white person. And if there's too many white people, he'll say, this company is terrible. So, um, yeah, so that's that drawing. Um, 30 quid. I'm going to put the microphone down to pick up the next one. So the next one here, this, this is a great one, you've got um, uh, COVID Colin, and COVID Colin's basically the guy who, when everyone stops wearing the mask, he still wears the mask because he's COVID Colin, and he 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 liked the way the pandemic was, he, he somehow thrived in the pandemic, and now he's nostalgic and needs to keep his mask on, uh, so he's COVID Colin, and uh, he's a fine art technician, so he's not quite a professor or a tutor. Um, but he's a, he's a fine art technician and he's wearing a Balenciaga long sleeve top that costs 450 quid it's just a cotton top that says Balenciaga on it but he likes that kind of thing and he's wearing some Nike tracksuit bottoms very nice and some handmade red Italian shoes like the one that Vincent Gallo wears in Buffalo 66 then to the left of him you just obviously see the sun it's a nice sunny day I thought about definitely including more positivity in my drawings so you see the sun and then you've got muscle muscle up mark muscle up mark is basically a skinny guy a bit gangster so he's got face tattoos as you can see and he's got a, a, an upside down cross that resembles a six pack if you if you look at the drawing um but then but i'm assure you it's it's not a tattooed six pack but he uses the muscle app which is on the phone uh to basically when you use the muscle app you can basically give yourself bigger muscles so he gives himself a more defined chest area and bigger biceps and definitely bigger legs he's got very skinny legs and he has uh, a dog called copper 
like police like Copper, because he's a bad boy, doesn't really like police, but he called his dog in an ironic way, Copper, the aggro beast. So, he's got this dog that's actually more muscly than him. Um, Copper, the aggro beast. And to the left of him, there's a lonely spider, which features in uh, mine and Joel's new game that we've made. We've got a spider there that talks, and yeah, he's a lonely spider. He's colourless. He's just like a, a colourless, bland, lonely spider. On oh, this drawing's 30 quid, like it says in the thing. I would really suggest that you buy one of my drawings, because they'll be worth a lot in the future. The thing is, th I know there's going to be people, when I've made it, there's going to be people who are like, Oh, Kenneth, yeah, can I get one of your drawings still for that price? And I'll be like, nah, nah, when I was in the shit, you didn't support me. So you won't get a drawing for cheap. You can pay fucking 50 grand like everybody else. And they'll be gutted, they'll be, they'll be sitting in the living room, absolutely gutted, and I'll enjoy that. Um, so the next drawing, you've got a couple of fishy guys, a couple of fishy guys, there's a lot of fishy guys in the world, um, and you've got Fish Tank Fred, Fish Tank Fred, he's got a fish bowl on his head, um, and fishes swim around his head, and then he's next to Frank Fishhead, who actually has a dead fish always on his head, and uh, to the right of uh, fish, fish Tank Fred, you've got uh, Square Head Saw, couldn't really think of a name, so I just put Saw, Squarehead Saw. And underneath them, you've got um, Rake Arm Roberto, and he's basically a, a Bond villain, as you can see by his crazy eyes and his moustache, and his little little willy hanging out, and his nipple hanging out, and his rake arm. Um, and he's trying to rake a dangerous fish that's above him. He's Rake Arm Roberto. So that drawing is also 30 quid, like the other ones. If you want to buy a drawing off me, and you haven't got much money, you can say to me, like, Kenneth, can I buy a drawing for a fiver? It's like, no problem, you know what I mean? I need the money, so I sell them for anything, really. But, like, the benchmark price is 30 quid. And I think for a lot of people who are living in affluent countries, doing well for themselves, I mean, at, like, you know, I've been a place, you know, you see people with a lot of money everywhere, so it's like, if you appreciate um, nutters, nutters doing drawings, then get your wallets out and, and, and pay a proper price, you know what I mean? And the last one. I'm almost out of breath with all this talking. The last one you've got, um, Bibliothek Brian. So Bibliothek is um, a word for library in, in German. I think also Portuguese. A lot of European countries, I think, call it Bibliothek. So Bibliothek, Bibliothek Brian. Um, and you've got Bartholomew Bellend, and he's the only human Bellend ever. Uh, they're hanging out together. And you can see um, Bibliothek Brian in his nice uh, crop top, stripy crop top, a bit like my stripy top here. Stripey crop top and some stripey Y fronts, and he's ready for. They're both ready for an, for an art opening. They're going to go to an art opening, and they're going to mingle and uh, gather some contacts and and do some business. You know what I mean? So I hope you enjoyed um, the videos. This video, um, as you can see in the background there, that I just noticed in my camera, it's a huge pile of drawings that I destroyed out of anger. So if you want to buy one of these before I destroy them, then you better be quick because I get angry and fed up and then I just destroy everything and it takes me a while to get happy and start drawing again so come on, get your wallets out goodbye for now and ciao